Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So last week, we brought up a concept project that we're working on. It is called the Minimum Effective Dose. A Minimum Effective Dose. Now, we completely and totally stole this from our uh, workout training, from our strength training, because that's what Barbell Logic is all about. It is about giving you the minimum effective dose dose who's that dude that did the i think this originally came from uh he wrote a couple different books it was the four hour work week which was really popular and then the four hour body tim ferris i think the minimum effective dose concept mm. originally came from him but he might have got it from like plato or something yeah i mean this it's not like that's something new but what what we want what we're focusing on is an ar a black rifle that has everything you need, just as Jeff Cooper said about his gun sight 1911. Everything you need and nothing that you don't, right? Minimum effective dose. So part of that minimum effective dose uh, is we ordered and we have received, and it is now in our hot little hands, Yes, a KE Arms completed lower. Like Borat says, I am excited. I am excited. Yes, I am excited. So... The KE Arms, if you don't know, is basically, it is the continuation of a concept that was done by Cav Arms many, many years ago, back in the mid-2000s. The early to mid-2000s, those of you who are firearms historians or uh, who were paying attention back then know that there was a company called Cav Arms, uh, and they made a unibody lower receiver where they combined the res the lower receiver part, the pistol grip part, and the stock part all into one unit. And you could just drop an AR, an upper receiver, onto it, and bing, bang, boom, yes, ready to go. Let's go ahead and play the intro music for the Brownells Bullet Points. Oh, we didn't do that. Yeah, let's yeah. go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, so are we back? Zach, yeah. Zach, am I good? Yep, we are good to go now. Back. All right, oh, good. I had to, had a little had a moment there. So, any hooser, um, I'm, I was so daggum excited to talk about the KE Arms Complete Lower Receiver yes. that uh, um, I forgot the intro music. But what we did is uh, we, we ordered, we went to Brownells, essentially, it has, They've done their best to resurrect the original cab arms concept. I was going to say that came out a while ago, and I guess it, it well, at least in, in my little world that I'm in, it didn't really take off. Which are you talking about, the cab arms or the KE arms? Oh, I'm sorry, the KE. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what, what Brownells did is they, they came up with a, uh, a WWSD, what would stoner do kind of a thing, and uh, they partnered with KE Arms LLC to make and distribute uh, these lower receivers now you can get them as stripped lowers means no triggers no you know parts hammers components uh any of that stuff you can get it completely stripped and install all your own stuff in it or you can just get it from them ready to go with a you know a safety and and hammer and all that stuff uh, I went ahead and ordered the one that's that's complete, and you say, "Wow, that's yeah. kind of cheating, man!" It's like actually, yeah, we ordered the one that has everything. It has the hammer, the trigger, the it has the buffer uh, spring, has the buffer and the buffer spring in it. Uh, it's ready to go. And the reason I did that is because I don't really need practice assembling a lower receiver. I know how to do it. I, I need lots it. of practice. I've done it. And we're gonna Many. disassemble it and then reassemble it and <laughs> no. then disassemble it and reassemble it. No. So that I can get a lot of practice. No, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. So we have it in our hot little hands right now. It's a pretty slick item. Uh, it, it's you know relatively inexpensive. When you're talking about having, you know, you say, "Oh, I look for I look for a strip lower, and the strip lower is only sixty nine dollars." Yeah, but it doesn't have. You have to put everything. You in. You have to put everything in it, and you don't have a stock yet, and you don't have a buffer and a buffer tube, and I think the strip comes buffer with a spring stock. and all that. So. Sure. No, just I'm talking about a regular strip. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, a regular strip lower. Uh, a regular strip lower uh, is now. I'm not sure how much the I'm, I'm looking. I think it was like eighty bucks, maybe for a stripped KE Arms lower with nothing in it. It is eighty one ninety nine. Okay, so if you buy a stripped KE Arms lower, 
Uh, that comes with the pistol grip, the stock, and obviously the lower receiver. Now, because of the world in which we live right now, and we're going to talk about that in a second, but because of the world in which we live, uh, we still have to uh, beg for permission from our slave masters to own firearms. So it is a lower. It has a it has a metal plate with a serial number inscribed in it. It's, it's pretty nice. So you have to transfer it just it, like you transfer a gun. Yeah. But any hooser, uh, this is a follow up. We're going to be doing, like I said, the the AR MED, the AR Minimum Effective Dose Project, and uh, we have the first component in our hands right now, and it's the KE Arms Lower. And if you guys are fans of Brownells, if you're not fans of Brownells, well, you need to fix yourself and and get to be fans of Brownells. Come on. What are you doing, man? Uh, but uh, check them out. Check them out. You can go to their website right now and check out the KE. That's Kilo Echo Dash One Fiber. KE Arms Lower. KE 15. 